In this problem, we're going to show that this statement form and this statement form uh, are not logically equivalent. So to do that, we're going to use uh, truth tables. So we'll start uh, by listing all the truth values for P and Q. So we have P here and we have Q here. And then in order to come up uh, with both of these uh, statement forms, we'll, we'll need to look at the following. Well, we'll definitely need not P and not Q. So I'll go ahead and write those down. Not P and not Q. And then in order to get to not P and Q, we do need P and Q. So I'll go ahead and write that one down as well. And now we can actually write down the end result. So I can go ahead and write down this one. So not P and Q. And then I'll go ahead and write down this one. So not P and not Q. So you have to, you have to work your way up to these last two. So now what we do is we fill in the truth table and we just compare these uh, last two columns here. So this one and this one, right? Those are our statement forms. And these have to be identical row by row. If they are, then they're logically equivalent, but they shouldn't be because we're gonna show they're not logically equivalent. So let's just go ahead and fill in all the possible truth values for P and Q. So one case is when they're both true. So true and true. Another case would be when P is true and Q is false. Another case would be when P is false and Q is true. And then the last case would be when they're both, when they're both false. Now let's go ahead and work vertically this time. So I'm just going to work down on each one. So not P. So we're just going to look at P and then just negate each of these. So it'll be, oh, well, it'll be false. I put a, I was going to do this, not false, which is true. That's, that's, that's not even a thing. So the opposite of true is false. The opposite of true is false. The opposite of false is true. The opposite of false is true. Now let's look at not Q. So we're just going to take Q and just write down the opposites. So false uh, looks like true, false, true. Just writing down the opposite of each. Now we're going to look at P and Q. So for P and Q, um, you just look at the P and the Q. And P and Q is only true when they're both true. So in the first case, it's true. In all the other cases, you get some falseness going on. So this will be false, false, false. Right? It's only true when they're both true. For not P and Q, um, you just take your P and Q column and then you just switch it. You switch the truth value. So true becomes false. And the rest of them are false, so they all become true. And in the last case, we're looking at uh, the conjunction of not P and not Q. So we just look at this, these columns here with not P and not Q. And this is only true when they're both true. So that's going to be at the bottom here. That's when they're both true. And in the other cases, you get at least one false. So they're all going to be false. Good stuff. So in this case, we can see that these are not logically equivalent because this column here, this row is not equal to this one, right? There's, there's some issue here, right? These are different truth values. We're good here in the first row and good in the last row, but that doesn't work. So they're not logically equivalent because of this. So not logically equivalent. They all have to be exactly the same. If they're all like exactly the same, uh, then they would be uh, logically equivalent. I hope this video has been helpful.